uh, as of today, um, Thursday the 19th, I am going to, in the evening, go to a inpatient program because my medication is still not working, uh, leveled out, some things get worse and then other things get better, but a lot of times things are just getting worse. Um, in the current form is I go to the doctor and they adjust my medication and I come back a month later and we see how that adjustment goes. Then they adjust it again and they go back like another three, four weeks later. It's not working. It's been six, it's been over six months. My medication is still nowhere near where it needs to be. Uh, it's been progress since the beginning all of this, but it's not okay. Um, I'm able to articulate myself quite well, but uh, it's really bad. It's really, really bad. And um, I need to do the one thing I was hoping I wouldn't have to do was check myself into inpatient. Um, and I was on a pretty good uh, road there until um, I got fired. I think that's kind of the, the thing that psychologically pushed me over the edge because of everything I had been working for and fighting for you know a, a major part of your life like how you financially support yourself is ripped out from underneath you and you're in an already completely weakened state psychologically emotionally intellectually uh, you know you're not a good scenario <laughs> to be in it, it, significantly lowers the chance for success and although I was doing good for a while and I feel like some of the medications I'm on has been figured out as uh, being some of the good guys I have been slowly deteriorating further um, since that like nothing's getting better so I have to go to a an inpatient facility. I could be gone, excuse me, I could be gone four days, um, <laughs> luckily, but I could be gone four weeks, I could be gone eight weeks, I could be gone three months. Um, there is no, I don't get to check myself out. I don't get to be like, you know what, this isn't working, you know, or I, I this is just is not, I don't want to do this anymore. I don't get to check myself out. Um, I'm there until the doctors see me as fit to go, so, which is the scariest part for somebody who's constantly in control of herself and her environment to put it in the hands of a doctor or set of doctors, um, not knowing when I'll be able to get out, not knowing when I can, uh, well, I was going to say get out and I still haven't found employment. But another big part of that is I'm going to have to go on disability when I get out of the hospital. I've been trying to avoid it as in find something I can do to financially support myself. And I'm realizing in the state that I am with my bipolar disorder, I don't have the ability to take really a job <laughs> or uh, I, I can't function on my own. There's no way I can function uh, when I'm supposed to be answering to somebody else. So uh, that's a, the biggest defeat I've had so far in my life is admitting that I can't work <laughs> right now. So I will be going on disability once I get out. Only thing is a disability takes a good three, four, possibly more months in order to get on it. Until then, I have no income. Uh, my husband and I made about the same amount income-wise, uh, and so when I was fired, that's 50% of our income gone. So uh, we keep our finances separate anyway, but 50%, like, you know, my end of the bills can't get paid. Um, I'm the one who buys, like, the food in the house. He, he takes care of, like, some bills, I take care of the others. Like, I take care of the phone bill. He takes care of like um, the water 
and uh, like internet bill, but in exchange I buy all the toiletries and food for the house, so you know, we don't sit down and budget everything exactly, but we do our fair part. And it's hard to be the person who bought food and now uh, <laughs> not being able to do that. Which I'm okay to eat this slice of humble pie, it's just what the fuck do I do until I can get the disability, which is going to be barely enough to survive. Barely. But I'm okay with that. I just need to survive at this point. And I can work some on disability, which right now, uh, the reason I'm not going to the hospital now is because I have my first volunteer shift at the SPCA tomorrow. Uh, and after that shift is when I will be going to the hospital. So on my time on disability, I will be donating my time and efforts to um, the SPCA. So I'm not um, completely just sitting around taking the government's money. Um, and this is in hopes to get me back up to a working state. So it's just tough. It's really, really tough. The only reason I'm not super emotional right now is because I'm that worn down. I'm just that, like, end of it, graded down. And I'm finding some comfort in knowing I have to go into the hospital. Not that going to the hospital anyway <laughs> is comforting, but it's it's got to be better than what I've been dealing with. So I don't know how long I'll be gone, but I'll be gone. And in the meantime, my husband has everything set up for um, paying my bills whenever donations. They gave him my bank account info and the GoFundMe and all of the um, username and passwords. So any and all money that comes in goes only to my bills. Um, and then when I'm out, uh, you know, any extra money, of course, is going to go to be paying for the hospital stay, the bills that are going to be beautiful when that comes in. Um, but just trying to maintain life in general. So anything you can help donate is a huge, huge deal. Whether it's the five, like five dollars, I think is the minimum. Um, that helps a lot. Um, or whether if you're local and you want to donate like, um, dog food or toiletries, things like that, uh, that's more than appreciated. So this is more about surviving at this point than it is anything else. And I'm hoping this process will be done because it's been six months of this and I'm just, I'm worn out. I'm so worn out. I'd work so hard to manage my bipolar disorder, uh, which you would assume would help you manage it, make managing it easier, but I was put into the hands of the wrong doctors and I was given bad medical advice and now it's been six months and I've had no form of relief yet whatsoever. So if you have already helped, it's greatly appreciated. Um, I mean, I hate to have to ask for help. Uh, <laughs> but I don't have any other options at this point. So I appreciate everything and hopefully I'll see everybody else again soon.